Okay, so here's a huge question I get asked almost every day. Someone comes in or they call me on the phone and they say, Doc, I've got this area of pain, I've got this injury and it has never healed. I've already been to PT twice. This happened a year ago, two years ago, six months ago. Why do I still have pain? And it's a great question. And I tell them, unfortunately, the reason that you still have pain is usually due to all starting from a bad diagnosis. And here's what I mean by that. Most of the time what people do is they have an injury and they go to their primary care doctor. Their primary care doctor is not equipped to handle musculoskeletal issues. So what they do then is they refer you to a physical therapist. The physical therapist gets a diagnosis of back pain. It doesn't mean anything. What does back pain mean? We wanna know what's causing the back pain. Is it nerve related? Is it muscle related? Is it disc related? Is it bone related? That's what we need to know. We need to know exactly what's causing the pain, not back pain. That's such a very general term, it doesn't tell you anything. But now the physical therapist has to treat you for back pain or neck pain. So the only thing they can do then is they just do some back exercises. Their hope is that by doing back exercises, they strengthen you up enough to where you can compensate for the pain, you feel a little bit better, and then you go on your way. Well, that works for a couple months. The problem though is because they now have trained your body to deal with the injury, it means the injury didn't really heal. You just got strong enough to deal with it. But after a couple months, your body breaks down to where now it's so bad you can't compensate anymore. The issue's gotten worse or it's transferred and now it's affected a different part of your body due to the change in biomechanics. And that's what happens. It feels like a cyclical cycle. You feel better for a while or you're in physical therapy and you feel like you hit a plateau because they're having to treat you for a very general thing, which is not what you had. Sometimes they get it right. I shouldn't say sometimes they get it right. I should say sometimes the doctor got lucky and the physical therapist did the exercises that happened to be exactly what was going on with you. But that's getting lucky because the therapist is then held at a huge disadvantage because they can't do anything specific. They've got to go by the diagnosis the MD sent you. Now that's what's different about what we do here is I don't have to go by anyone's diagnosis. I am a doctor, I write my own diagnosis. So I can go back, look at things, I can change it as I see fit. We can do more exams, we can take more imaging if need be. This way we not only get the most accurate diagnosis, but we can make sure things get treated the right way the first time. This way we get rid of pain and it stays away instead of having it come back over and over and over again. So that's what kind of happens and I hope that sheds some light on that question because I want more people to know and understand so we don't have to waste time. I don't want to waste six months of your life or a year of your life of you being in pain. Let's get it corrected right away and let's start with a proper diagnosis.